Hey y'all, it's Bridget Moses from Vincent and Bridget Moses Godly Encouragement here with the verse of the day. Today we are talking on Proverbs 18:21 in the New King James Version, one of my favorite um, uh, one of my favorite verses in the Bible. And it reads, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit." Death and life are in the power of the what? The tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. It doesn't say death and life are in the power of God. Death and life are in the power of um, our circumstances. Death and life are in the power of our health status. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. We have to understand that our words are powerful. Powerful. They shape our environment. Now, just as God is a um, creative being, we're created in his image. And therefore, our words have the power to create and shape our environment. If we're not careful, if we don't know that, then we will speak death into our lives um, and we will eat its fruit like I used to do. I did not know that the words that I spoke were so powerful. I used to say things like, I'm going to be sick, or um, I'm not going to, I can't handle this, oh, this is going to be a bad day, or um, this isn't going to go well, or I'm not going to get the job, or whatever type of words I would say that were, I didn't want to eat the fruit of. I did not want to eat the fruit of those words, but I didn't understand that they were creating, they were seeds, words are seeds, and they were creating this environment around me. And I was just living in an environment of nasty seeds, foul, stinchy, yucky, um, rotten seeds that I had planted. Um, and as soon as I learned to begin, God helped me to understand I needed to tame my tongue. And we'll get into that more tomorrow. Um, but he helped me to understand that if I could tame my tongue, then my life would begin to change. If I could begin to change my words, my life would begin to change. And he will do the same with you. God is not a respecter of persons. Whatever he does for one of his children, he will do. It's the same for all of his children. He has no favorites. There are no more spiritual people than, than the next. I'm no more spiritual than you are if you just came into the kingdom. If just Five seconds ago, you confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart God raised him from the dead. You're saved and you have the same exact covenant with the same exact benefits as I do. We all have been given the measure of Christ, his measure of faith. So nobody has more faith than the next. Now, everything with God that we get, it comes in seed form. We're the ones that have to partner with him to water those seeds with his word, to work on those things by using them to build our spiritual muscles and get bulked up in the spirit. And so we have to realize that there's something that lies on us in that working out of those seeds, in that, um, you know, tending to those seeds and uh, so that they can grow um, into the fullness of what God has for us. But we all have been given the same measure. We just have to work our measure. We have to work the measure we've been given, and that's on us. So part of that working that measure is by our words. We have to be the, the gatekeeper over our mouths. We have to be the gatekeeper over our minds. We have to be the gatekeeper over our hearts, over our ears, we have to be the gatekeeper over these things because the Bible says that um, the, out of your heart come the issues of life. I just lost the verse. I apologize. I lost the, uh, but that's the part I wanted to focus on um, anyways, was that out of the, oh, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when we say things, they're coming from our heart. And we have to be the gatekeeper over all of our gates and watch what we say. 
Um, I heard, I believe it was, I heard Stephen Furtick talking about somebody that he heard once say, and she taught him that if you can't say, and that's exactly how I want it after saying whatever it is you're saying, then don't say it because that's exactly what you're going to get. And I think that that is great advice. And I've held true to that advice. Um, or I've held to that advice uh, for myself as well. So let's watch our words. Let's watch our words because life in the, and death are in the power of our tongue. We can have an amazing life if we learn how to manage our mouths. We'll see you next time. Love y'all. Bye.